The average homosexual, if there be such, is promiscuous. He's not interested in, or, I know. <laughs> He's not interested in or capable of a lasting relationship like that of a heterosexual marriage. So declared anchor Mike Wallace in the primetime CBS Reports documentary special, The Homosexuals, broadcast March 7, 1967. Three years in the making, The Homosexuals went through two producers in multiple revisions before its broadcast. Though it was filled with grossly inaccurate statements and negative stereotypes that permeated much of the media coverage of the LGBTQ plus community during the period, it also featured some of the first undisguised interviews with gay men ever broadcast on network television. In today's television landscape, it's hard to imagine the courage it took to identify oneself as gay on national television in the mid-60s and early 70s. But thanks to those news documentaries and those stories, the courage of those individuals, the real-life story of the LGBTQ plus community lives on. In fact, without television, much of our understanding and knowledge of key moments in LGBTQ plus history would not be possible. Reality and talk programs from Donna Hugh to The Oprah Winfrey Show were often at the forefront in sharing LGBTQ plus stories, like MTV's The Real World, which illuminated the AIDS crisis and its effects on LGBTQ plus youth through the eyes of Pedro Zamora, the young gay educator who joined the cast in 1994. And thanks to television documentaries such as MTV and Logos, Laverne Cox presents The T-World, HBO's The Strange History of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, and The Case Against Eight, and to groundbreaking news coverage by my colleagues including Don Lemon, Rachel Maddow, Shepard Smith, Robin Roberts, Guy Benson, Anderson Cooper, and others, as well as reality programs including TLC's I Am Jazz, VH1, VH1's RuPaul Drag Race, Shante, you stay, and the Netflix Queer Eye, our stories continue to be told. In times of triumph and tragedy, news, documentary, and reality programs brings us closer to all aspects of the LGBTQ plus community. When it seems the world is falling apart, when cowards threaten to silence the voices and eliminate the hard-won freedoms the LGBTQ plus community has long struggled to achieve, news, documentary, Reality and talk programs can engage us in vital conversations that remind us the common strands that connect us of compassion, of the power of truth, and of our shared humanity. In the ability to make complex themes relatable and to make information accessible, they can save lives. They ensure that our history continues to be written and that our stories continue to be told. Personally, I remember being nine years old and watching the talk show Cristina on Univision with my family. For those who don't know who Cristina is, she is a Latin opera. <laughs> the show topic was, my son is a homosexual. At the end of the show, my aunt said, I will never accept my children being gay. And then my mom replied, you're wrong. A true mother would never turn her back on her child. Thank you to all the moms that are here, by the way. I, my mom didn't say anything directly to me, but I knew at that very moment that she would support me no matter what. She had my back. Gracias, Cristina Saralegui, for starting a dialogue with Latino families across the country. <laughs> 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 
Last year, when I came out on Despierta America, Univision's news morning show, my mother was by my side. And I can only hope that that telecast made a world of difference for, me, of difference for many young Latinx wanting to come out to their families.